In this week's episode, we take a look at an EMTB that has been coined as the best bang for the buck EMTB, the YT decoy. Since the launch of the decoy back in 2019, it's been turning heads left and right, and the reviews from the writers have been phenomenal. But the decoy hasn't gone through a huge transformation since its debut. It gained a new motor within the four year span, but that's about it. And with so many great EMTBs out in the market today, can the YT decoy still retain its title for the best bang for your buck EMTB? We'll also take a close look at the YT decoy core 2 and determine if this particular model is worth the $5,999. For those that are new to the channel, here's a brief overview of how I score these EMTBs. My rating system is based on a 10 point average system. The bike will be ranked based on five categories, cost, battery, torque, integration, and parts that don't match the price. We've scored six EMTBs so far and the Rocky Mountain Altitude Power Play Alloy 30 sits at the top. And today we will be rating our seventh EMTB, the YT Decoy Core 2. By the end of the year, whichever EMTB sits at the top will get the title for the Sender Frankie EMTB of the year. But who knows, if I'm lucky enough, I can pick the Sender Frankie EMTB of the year as my personal bike to play with. Quick disclaimer, none of my advice is professional advice. My ratings are based purely on specs for now and the purpose for my ratings are only here to provide information and a bit of personal insight. And it's really made for those who are new to mountain biking and looking to purchase their first bike and also for riders who are looking to transition from a regular mountain bike to an electric mountain bike. After all, these EMTBs aren't cheap. Before we begin, help me by hitting that like button as it will definitely help this video spread across YouTube faster and help more people on making their decision on their first EMTB purchase. The 2022 YT Decoy Core 2 is composed of a carbon for the front triangle and an aluminum for the rear. It is a mixed wheel size bike that has a 29 inch wheel in the front and 27 and a half inch in the rear. It has 170 millimeters of travel up front and 165 millimeter travel in the rear. It comes with a flip chip feature to change the geometry of the bike to make it more or less aggressive. The YT Decoy Core 2 MSRP is at $5,999. For a base model, it is $499 more than a Turbo Levo alloy, $350 more than a Trek Reel 5, $250 more than the Rocky Mountain Power Play alloy 30. I am giving this EMTB an 8 out of 10. The price is a bit high for a base model, but I think you'll see why it deserves an 8 out of 10 when we move into the parts category. Next, we look at the battery capacity. The Core 2 model comes with a 540 watt hour battery. I'm giving this a low score of a four out of 10. It's got just a tad more juice than the 500 watt hour batteries found in the Levo Alloy and the Rail 5, but way less than the Alta 2 and the Montero Nero 3. It's been four years since the launch of the bike and I feel YT could have at least updated the 540 watt hour to a 640 watt hour. And if they had done so, they would have received a higher score of a seven out of 10. Next, we look at the torque specs. The YT decoys are spec with a Shimano EPA motor with a torque of 85 Newton meters. My scoring in this category is based on pure torque specs for now, and I'm working on ways to change this section of the rating. So for now, I give the 85 Nm of torque an 8 out of 10. Next, we look at the integration. YT has done a very decent job in designing the decoy. Since 2019, the decoy has integrated the power button onto the underside of the top tube. One of the first EMTBs on making the battery easily accessible on the down tube and also utilizing the minimal display and the control from Shimano. In my opinion, a very solid job at minimizing clutter and keeping the bike looking super clean. An eight out of 10. 
Now moving on to the parts that don't match the price. In this category, we add points to four categories of components on the bike, specifically the fork, suspension, drivetrain, and the brakes. Each point added will lower the overall average score. This is honestly where the decoy gets its reputation from, so let's start on the fork. The decoy core 2 comes with a 170mm Zeb Charger R, a 38mm stanchion, an excellent, excellent fork from RockShox. Not many base models out there come with such a great selection, so no points added. A superb job from YT. The rear suspension is a super deluxe select. Again, YT has made a great choice in these rear shocks. Just in these two categories alone, it has outperformed the Rocky Mountain Altitude Powerplay 30, our number one bike on this list. Another superb job, no points added. Moving on to the drivetrain, the Core 2 comes with a Diore 6100 series, a 12-speed shifter derailleur combo, an expected combo in a base model, so no points added here. The Decoy Core 2 comes with SRAM code R's, a good mid-tier four-piston set, great selection from YT again, no points added to this section. With zero points added to this category, it means that it scored a perfect 10 out of 10 in the category of parts that don't match the price. So far, this is the only bike to get a perfect 10. So now let's recap on the total points for all categories. With the MSRP of $5,999, it scored an eight out of 10. With a 540 watt hour battery, it scored a four out of 10. At 85 Nm of torque, it scored an eight out of 10 also scored an 8 out of 10 in the integration department and a perfect 10 out of 10 in the parts that don't match the price, giving us a total score of 38 out of 50 points, which gives us an average of a 7.6 out of 10 on the Senate Frankie scale, which gives the YT Decoy Court 2 the fourth place position on the Senate Frankie rating scale. So the big question we've all been waiting for is the 2022 YTD Quick Core 2 worth the $5,999? It is a yes, it passed with a 7.6, a bit lower than I expected, but does it still retain its title as the best value or the best bang for the buck EMTB? I have to be honest here and say I think it lost that title. And really, it had to do with the 540 watt hour battery. It would have been a completely different story if it had a 640 watt hour battery. Do not let this deter you away from buying the 2022 decoy. It's still a beast of a machine. With that 540 watt hour battery, you're still able to enjoy epic 30 mile rides. This bike's geometry and the motor are still very relevant and competitive in today's market. And if we're comparing the parts to either the Rocky Mountain Altitude Powerplay 30 alloy or the Trek Wheel 5 or the Turbo Levo or even the Motera Neo 3, it straight out performed all of them by a good margin. So if you want more info on the bikes that I just mentioned, please click on any of these videos on the screen. And with that, we'll see you guys on the next. Peace.